constant anxiety, you want to draw three lines to calm the anxiety down. With the pandemic, you know, so many people are struggling with anxiety, fluctuations of anxiety, your heart racing, irritable, you're always anxious, you're always fidgety, you're always on edge. And so you want to draw three lines. Where do you draw those three lines? On your arm. So three lines on your arm. One line right here, one in the middle, and one in the inside. And you want to start pushing on these nerves, okay? These nerves directly move blood to your heart. It's your heart that helps you regulate your anxiety. It's just one of the organs. So you want to make sure you calm your heart down, which therefore will calm your anxiety. So you want to push along these three lines. So three lines up your arms. You want to push all the way. It moves blood to your heart, calms the heart down, decreases the heart from pumping too fast, and calms the anxiety. All right, click the follow button. I came to acupuncture because I had a a uh, problem in my elbow, I actually kind of tore some tendons and ligaments over my growth plate and so I came here to help heal it up a little faster and it helped a lot so I would definitely recommend it. Hey guys, Jimmy in here, the acupuncture guy with Achieve Integrative Health. It's, f it's a Fact Check Friday. Uh, we're going to go over some facts today. So. You know, one of the one of the famous movies is Spider Man. He says, "With great, re, uh, with great power comes great responsibility." Right? And so, how is the media really? The media is is just blowing up things that are so minute, not so minute, but smaller. They're making small, but basically making something that is not as big as something huge and taking away the focus, diverting our attention from important matters. Uh, so why aren't we focusing on the things that we can do to, to improve our, our family life, our friends, our network, our community, our state, our city, our country? Why aren't we focusing on that instead of this, like I said, this craziness? Um, so. You know, everything that's in the media, most likely it's, it's exaggerated. And that's why, you know, we don't, I personally, we don't have TV. We don't watch the news um, just because the information is going to be incorrect anyways. And so we need to fact check um, the information. But again, let's, the, the, the purpose of this, of this post is just let's fact check stuff and not just spread um, news that you hear from the media and think it, that it's the, you know, it, it's factual information. You know, a lot of it may not be. Um, I know that because of a lot of health issues. So a lot of health issues on, let's say online. So for example, like acupuncture. Acupuncture, um, there's, many, there's, there's, you know, physicians or just some other groups um, that bash acupuncture even though it's been around for 3,000 years and it still works and it's used all over Asia uh, all over Europe um, just maybe not here in the US but it's been used for 3,000 years I don't see how you can you know how a medicine can survive if it, if it if it's still not working if it hasn't been working for you know for 3,000 years but these are fact checks things you know but you're gonna hear something one post about something negative about acupuncture and you're gonna think that acupuncture sucks acupuncture is terrible and so forth it's a scam it's a placebo blah 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 right and my point is um, you know media is gonna blow up all the negative stuff instead of you know us focusing on the positive stuff it's been around for 3,000 years there's a reason why it's still around it still works um, just because you know someone, some authority, some scientific authority can't prove how it works doesn't mean it doesn't work. Um, the, the thing is, a lot of medications can't aren't proven to work. It's all theory based, um, and so you know the key is let's focus on facts, get facts, and not rely upon the media to get us. Not rely on us. Definitely don't rely upon social media to get you get your facts. So. But not to get off topic, but uh, yeah, fact check, fact check Friday. Uh, let's get our facts straight. All right, this may not be a, a hot topic, but we want to make sure we get our facts straight uh, about the viruses. So, anyways, get your get your immune system straight. Help start with you. 
and get your body better, get your body healthy, then you start with your family. Make your family healthy. Get your family healthy, get your family safe, then work up out your community. Get your community safe. Practice these safe hygienes, okay? Practice, um, everybody wash your hands, um, and you know, focus on your community. After you focus on community, focus on your city. Uh, after you focus on your city, focus on your state. Let's start doing something positive instead of focusing on so much negative. All right, guys, I know this post is all over the place, but it's just been on my mind because all these things have been going on my mind. And uh, so let's start with you, then your family, then your friends and family, then your city, then your town, then your state. Let's make, let's focus on positivity. All right, guys.